it is so good to see all of you. Welcome to 316. We are starting a new series. Yay! Come on, everyone is excited, right? We are going to start a new series today. And the series is called Battle Scars. Battle Scars. And that is also dear to my heart because I know I have been a Christian for some time. So believe me when I tell you the enemy cannot defeat you. He cannot defeat you because we have the victory in Christ already. Everything that God has done at the cross is now in our life active and alive. And that's why we can overcome whatever comes our way. So the enemy cannot defeat us. So what does the enemy try? He tries to come against us, to discourage us, to frustrate us, to live fearfully and afraid and just try to derail the purpose that God has for us so that we won't step into the fullness that God really has for us. So he cannot defeat us, but he can frustrate us. He can come against the things that we are thinking about, the things that we have planned, and in that can frustrate us and make us come to a place where we are willing to give up. So I want you to know this morning, wherever you are in your life, don't give up. No matter what is going on in your life right now, don't give up because you have the victory, victory already. Okay, this morning we're going to talk about a battle and that is winning the battle of intimidation. Winning the battle of intimidation. And we are looking at the character in the Bible that was David before he became King David. So now he was only a shepherd's boy. He makes his way to his brothers who are fighting a war against the Philistines. And then he will uh, comes to the place where there's all the soldiers. And then he sees Goliath stepping out and Goliath taunting the people of Israel and uh, coming against them and uh, talking rubbish and nonsense, right? And David was like, oh, come, I'm going to go and fight against these Philistines. Everybody said he cannot do it. But here's the thing, Goliath was intimidating David and the entire people of Israel. And you and I, very often we will come in a point in our life to people or circumstances, situation that seems so intimidating, where we think like, oh my goodness, can I even overcome this? Can I even have the victory? Oh my goodness, this seems taunting to me. And I want you to know, don't be intimidated because we have God on our side. So the first thing that we can learn from this story that is found in 1 Samuel chapter 17. Okay, 1 Samuel chapter 17. But the first thing that we can really learn is, is that the threat against the Israelite was real. The threat was real. See what it says in 1 Samuel 17 verse 4. A champion named Goliath who was from Gath, came out to the Philistine camp. His height was six cubits and a spawn. So now we know that Goliath was real. He was a real person. He was a giant. People believe he was maybe eight, maybe nine feet tall, which is huge, right? It's not like sometimes you see in movies like extremely big, but he was big. He was tall. He was strong. So the threat that he was uttering against Israel and later on when David comes on the scene against David was very real. He could have killed David easily. He was a man who was a warrior since he was a small boy. Now he is a giant. He is experienced in warfare. So the threat was real. And I want you to know only because you are a Christian doesn't mean that you will never have difficult times in your life. Come on, things will go wrong in your life. You will make mistakes. People around you will make mistakes and come against you and you will now suffer the consequences, maybe even of things that were not even your fault. But life is like that. And so we have to understand that those situations are real. But here's the good news. We know that God is on our side. So don't give up if you are in a difficult situation. Remind yourself that God is real, that God wants to be involved in your life, and that God can help you overcome whatever you're dealing with. The second thing that we can really learn is, is that even other people doubted David. 
other people doubted David. See what it says in 1 Samuel 17 verse 33. Saul replied, you are not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You are only a young man and he has been a warrior from his youth. So here we see very clearly that the threat against David and all of Israel was real. But we also see that people doubted David. Nobody wanted to go and fight. Everybody was afraid, not even the king, not even the mighty warriors. They were all scared, but David, the shepherd boy, said, I will go out and fight this Goliath. I will go and defeat him. And everyone was like, huh? You are just a shepherd boy. How can you win this battle? There is no way. And even the king, King Saul, even the king doubted that David could do it. Now again, what does that mean for our life? Sometimes, maybe, I hope not too often, but people will doubt you, will doubt your ability, will doubt your intentions, will doubt what you are up to in your life and say, ah, I'm not so sure if you can do it. Or oh, I don't know if you are smart enough. Or oh, I don't know if you can succeed. Or oh, I don't know if you can do this or that. I don't know if you can tackle that girl. She's out of your league. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but people will doubt you somewhere along your life. But here's again the good news. If you know who you are, you can be confident. Like David knew who God was, he was confident that he could do it. And that is our third point, is that David knew God. David knew God. See what it says in 1 Samuel 17. Verse 37, the Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. So here we see how confident David really was. And you could might say, okay, he's confident because he experienced some kind of war or battle before, but that was only against a lion and a bear. I mean, come on, I know a lion is weak, a bear is huge, a real threat, right? And he really overcame them and really fought them by the grace of God, but fighting against a, a warrior who has been doing this for his living for years since he was a young boy, a giant Samo who can kill you. That is a whole different battle, right? But David was so confident because he knew who God was. He did not put his confidence in his own ability, but he said, because God helped me before, he will help me again. So his confidence was not in himself. His confidence was in God. And I want you to know that is something that we can take as an example for our life and say, you know what, even if things don't go my way, if I don't understand what is happening, I can be confident that God is with me, that he is on my side that he has good plans for me and he has good plans for you so you can be strong and victorious wherever you are because God is with you. The thing is you have to know God. So I want to invite you that you will take some time to come before God and say, God, I want to get to know you so that I can become confident no matter what comes against me in my life I will know who you are and that will give me the confidence that I can win every battle in my life. So win the battle of intimidation in your life, that nothing will intimidate you, that you will be able to succeed and do well wherever you put your mind to. With this, I want to say God bless you guys. I will see you now at the Zoom call and at the, the time of discussion and I will see you guys. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.